baby, 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 please don't block your own blessing. Don't block your own blessing. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shalom Kriya. If this is your first time here, hey girl, hey, we're becoming over here. We're becoming the woman that God has created us to be. If you're a returning becomer, hey girl, what's one thing you've done to become the woman of your dreams, huh? Okay, y'all, so today's video is on obedience. Obedience. Like in many of my other videos, I can't talk to y'all about something that God is not taking me through myself. So I'm in a season of intentional and extreme obedience to the Spirit of God. And so what that means is basically I'm just in a season that if God gives me instruction, I have to be cognizant of it and actually obey it and do it soon and not, or immediately and not just be like, hey, Lord, I'll do it, I'll get to it. And not just delay the obedience because delayed obedience is still disobedience. So that brings me to how do we obey God? It's easier said than done. It's much easier said than done. And I can, I can attest to that. Like it's, it, it, it's like God asks us to do things that we would think, we would think that it's simple to do, but really it's not. <laughs> But that's how he's testing us. He's testing us to see. Is my daughter, is my son actually going to do the thing that I said? Because God will not ask us to do something if he knows that the end result is not going to be something fire, something amazing, something beautiful. Because what's he trying to do? He's trying to take us from glory to glory, girl. So when the Lord tells us, in a, to do something and if we obey it, we're always going to root the fruit of our obedience. And obedience also matures you in the spirit. The more you obey the Lord. Okay, so that's where this video is going. Okay, I thought I was gonna give y'all how to obey, but I think I'm just telling y'all how the, 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 the repercussions of obedience, which is good. So the more you obey the Lord, the more you kind of level up in the spirit. It's like when you're playing a video game with each time you defeat the enemy, you, you, you level up. And it's like Christ has already defeated him. And so each time we obey him and walk in accordance to his will, we're leveling up in the spirit. And that translates to the natural. The more you level up in the spirit, the more that visibly there is a change in you. Like people will start to, to look at you, be like, there's something there's something different about this one i don't know quite what it is but it's something different about this girl and there's something different is the Holy Spirit, period, honey, okay? Because you're obeying and obedience brings joy to the Father because now the things that he's been wanting to bless you with, he can release it to you because you obeyed him. And so not only does obedience level you up in the Spirit and brings joy to the Father, but obedience is a gain. Sometimes when, if the Lord asks us to obey him in letting go of something that we really, really want to hold on to we really really want to keep 10 times out of 10 there's something better on the other side of your obedience that god wants to bless you with and speaking of the other side of your obedience mm, come on now on the other side of your obedience is often other people's breakthroughs other people's destinies basically you can be like a tool a vessel a resource in somebody else's walk with the Lord. Does that make sense? So it's like by you obeying God in one area, you can in turn be helping so many other people that had you not obeyed him, God couldn't have used you to help so-and-so. So oftentimes we're like, oh man, I really wanna help you, but I really wanna help people. Well, are you obeying what God is telling you to do, sis? Because that's the number one way also to help people is by obeying the Lord because in obedience is instruction. In obedience is instruction. He will instruct you in the ways to go. He will instruct you, okay, when you do this, this is what's going to happen. It creates like a ripple effect. So I feel like oftentimes when it comes to obedience, we're so like... La la gaggy, la la gaggy, la la gaggy. And we tend to take our time when we when God instructs us to do something. And it's like, 
I, 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 have, I have this prayer to God. I'm like, ooh, Lord, help me be like the angels. Because the angels obey God immediately. They don't say, but, but, huh, why, ooh. They, they don't say, no. they're just like, oh, bad, that's what you said, period. We, 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 we to it, we're doing it. Pop, pop, done, done. Yeah, I'm back. I finished that task. What's the next one? And then often, when we obey God in one area, he'll release new instruction. So if you're in a season where you feel like God is silent and you're not hearing anything and you've been praying to God, you're like, Oh Lord, I need direction. I need help. I need wisdom. I need knowledge. I need insight. Help me, Lord. And you hear crickets. Did you obey the first set of instructions that the Lord gave you? Because God is a God of order, honey, and he's a God of order, and he won't give you step two if you ain't done step one. And and that's the problem I see with a lot of believers. It's like we, we, we want, you know, God to give us these breakthroughs, but we haven't done step one. And so we can't get to step two, three, four, five, six, seven, because we're still on step one, level one, and baby, we're about to head into 2023, and I don't know about y'all, but 2023 is about to be fire. It's about to be fire. It's about to be fire. Like, God is up to something, and I just feel like right now in 2022, these last two months, what what is it? It's less than like 55 days, something like that, of this year, y'all. Whatever Holy Spirit tells you to in these last 50 umph days of 2022, do it because he's trying to prepare you here for what's coming over there. Okay, come on. That's where. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah. But yeah, seriously, like if you we have you have to prepare now in obedience for you're there because baby, 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 please. Don't block your own blessing. Don't block your own blessing. Because I want us to thrive. I want us to be blessed. I want us to help others. I want us to be able to handle any trials or tests, persecutions that comes our way. Because obedience brings reward. It brings safety. It brings protection. It brings joy. There's so much power in simply obeying the instructions and the commands of God. So if you come to this end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I pray this blessed you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to do one thing to become the woman of your dreams. God bless you. God keep you. I love y'all. See y'all next time. Bye.